and they are squat proof, they are sweat proof, they are camel toe proof, and most of all, they are so flattering. There is a huge difference on like what shoes you should be wearing on certain days of what you're working out. And this is the IKEA bag that went viral on TikTok. If you want to taste your childhood, get this protein. Hi friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I want to do a quick disclaimer and say the sun is going to go in and out in today's video. So ignore that. We're going to be focusing on the products anyways, but also don't mind today's outfit. This is my workout outfit. I'm waiting for Sean to get home so we can go to the gym, but it's a little cold in our house today and I don't feel like changing the temperature. So I just threw on um, this oversized cardigan. Already going off topic, but welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm filming a current fitness favorites video and I don't think I've ever done one before. I've done a things I'm loving video, like all around things I'm loving, but I haven't done like a dedicated fitness favorites video. So I'm really excited for today's video. Um, but before we jump right into it, I want to do a quick little disclaimer and say that all these products that I'm going to be mentioning, none of it is sponsored at all. I might have like an affiliate link, so I might make commission off some of the items, but um, all of these items I have either were gifted and I have bought more of it because I love it so much. So I have used my own money on all of these products, regardless if they were gifted at first. So I did want to quickly say that and say that this video is not sponsored at all. What should we start off with? First, I feel like you guys want to know my favorite actor wear first, so let's do that. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you guys that I have been loving is this set from the company Patula. I hope I'm saying it right. I always feel like I'm saying it wrong. It is spelled P apostrophe T U L A. I'm pretty sure it's Patula. Um, but they actually did gift me this set, but I fell in love with it so much that I bought different colors. So the reason why I love this set is because the shorts are just an all around perfect shorts because the material is so like buttery soft and it's so stretchy, you guys. I wish you can feel this material. It's so buttery soft. Um, but this is the bare short six inch. So this is like the perfect length. So they're not too short and they're not too long, like a biker short. So they're like that perfect happy medium. Um, and they don't like ride up when I'm like squatting or deadlifting and they are squat proof. They are sweat proof. They are camel toe proof. And most of all, they are so flattering along with the matching sports bra. And then in the top, it's kind of like a little slight V cut shape. So it's very flattering, but it's also very supportive and so comfortable. It is the same material as the shorts. I think I have a video of me trying it on for the first time when I lived with my parents when our house was being built. I will put it up on the screen now, but it was just, I was shook again. I was just in shock of how flattering and comfortable it is. I feel like I'm not wearing anything when I wear these shorts. Honestly, I have been wearing this set way too much. Um, just the other day, I wore this set and my friend Brianna, who works at my gym, texted me and she was like, girl, you look so good in this set. So the color that I bought with my own money, because again, I fell in love with the one they sent me, is the color Midnight. So it is more of like a solid black because I wanted one where I can wear like graphic tees, like different colored graphic tees with it. This is what it looks like. I hope it focuses. But yeah, I did order that color with my own money. And the reason why I say that is because, and this kind of goes with some other products that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Um, and some of you guys actually asked me, why do I spend money on products from brands that I have worked with or I'm sponsored by? And the reason why is because I'm just not the type of influencer, I hate that word, but I'm just not the type of influencer who expects or asks things for free after working with a brand or wanting to work with a brand. I just feel like there are a lot of influencers out there 
who just expects things for free because of the number of followers or subscribers they have. And I just never want to be that influencer. So um, if I truly love a product that I was gifted for free from the brand, I will buy it with my own money rather than me reaching out again and saying, hey, can I get another one for free? That's just not me. Let's talk about shoes. And I feel like some influencers don't talk about shoes and the importance of shoes when working out because there is a huge difference on like what shoes you should be wearing on certain days of what you're working out. So if you guys haven't followed me for a while, then you know I have a good amount of shoes, but my staples for working out are either my white Nike Hirachis or my black Converse or my white high top Converse. Those three I'm wearing majority of the time. I do have other shoes that I'll, that I'll wear like during hit or whatever, but I love wearing those three shoes so much. I probably wear them a little bit too much, but recently I have been loving this brand called Lane 8. I haven't heard of them until I saw another fitness influencer um, rave about these shoes. So let me look up the exact name so that you guys know. I will have all of the products that I will be talking about in today's video listed down below in the description. So, so this one is the Limited Dusty Taupe. And what I love about this is that it is so lightweight. Like when I first opened the box, I threw one to Sean, literally threw one, and he was like, this is so lightweight. And then I was a little nervous to work out with them for the first time because um, most shoes you have to break in or else your feet's going to get sore or you will get blisters. But the first time I worked out in these, my feet were so comfortable. I did not have to break them in. The reason why I'm looking at my phone is because I want to be as specific as possible and I don't want to be wrong in anything of what I'm saying. So at the top right here, it is a vegan microfiber overlay. So it is more lightweight than leather, but it's just as durable. Um, and then on the bottom, there's a Bloom Algae Foam Midsole. So it is lightweight, full length, algae based Bloom Foam Midsole that offers bounce and a plush feeling underfoot for all day comfort. Every pair returns 31.5 liters of fresh water back to the environment and removes 64 cubic meters of carbon from the atmosphere. Um, and then it just goes on to saying that on the inside it is recycled material and it just helps with comfort and everything. Going back to working out in these, I have worn this on leg day. So I have squatted in these, I have deadlift in these, I have jump ropes in these. So this is just an all around perfect shoe to have um, when starting your fitness journey so that you don't have to buy like different pairs of shoes for different types of activities i guess you can say next thing that i want to talk about is more so of a fitness accessory i guess you could say so i talked about this in my recent health vlog who texted me what was i saying oh i was saying that in my recent health vlog i already talked about this but i just have to talk about it again and have like a dedicated place in this video because i'm obsessed with this so this is the Drum sack tote bag from Ikea and this is the Ikea bag that went viral on TikTok but now I understand why it went viral because I'll show you. One of the coolest features about this bag is that it is a backpack and then it can actually turn into a tote which is so cool because sometimes, here I'll show you a little example. Um, Sometimes I'll be walking and like I'll have my keys in the front pocket, but I can't like with a normal backpack, you have to like hold it like this, but I can literally just do this. Look for my keys, easy. Then want to put it back as a backpack, done. Some other cool features about this bag is that it is um, made out of recycled material and it is waterproof as well. So it's so easy to clean. So there is a huge front pocket and then in the zipper pocket, it has a, I have all my rock climbing stuff in it, so ignore it. 
It has a laptop sleeve, so you can put your laptop in there, you can put books in there. Then it has pockets for like pens and pencils, has a little zipper pocket to put in like your wallet and keys. And then on the inside it has like the same material so that it's waterproof and that you can actually like clean it super easy. Um, so this bag is my rock climbing bag and the reason why I chose this one to be my rock climbing bag is because if you guys didn't know, rock climbing shoes can get a little stinky and dirty. So this bag is so easy to clean um, and it fits everything that I need for rock climbing. This was only $19.99 at Ikea. So yeah, I cannot recommend this enough. I think this would also be perfect for the gym if you wanted to use it as a gym bag as well. So I kind of already mentioned it when I was talking about the shoes and if you guys have been following me again for a while then you know that recently I have fell in love with jump roping and many of you guys have been asking me which jump rope I use and I literally just got this off of Amazon for like I think it was like under ten dollars I'm pretty sure I, again I'll leave a link down below when I was first getting into jump roping I searched high and low for a good jump rope so at first I tried a like cloth material jump rope with like bamboo handles because it looked cute and it looked like aesthetically pleasing I guess you can say but it sucked it did not work at all and um after doing more research about jump roping especially if you want to progress in it like a speed jump rope I'm pretty sure is the best option so um the material is this rubber material and it's pretty thin um but what I love most about this one is that the handlebars are metal but they have like this rough grip so that your hands don't slip. Most of all, this jump rope is adjustable to your height and that is something that I did not even think of that you have to take into consideration of your height. I guess that is very important but I wasn't even thinking so when I first bought my first jump rope I just found the first one on Amazon and it was way way too long for me. Um, so this one is adjustable. It comes with like, do I have it in here? I I did. Oh, it's on the ground. Um, it comes with like, this little tool to adjust the sides right here and you just adjust it. And I will leave a link down below to the video where I talk about how jump roping has not only benefited and helped my cardiovascular health, but it has helped so much with just my body composition and being able to maintain my muscle, but also at the same time burn fat off my body. So I will leave a link to that video and I go more in depth on what I do to build muscle and burn fat while jump roping. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about, um, and it's very simple, but I'm so excited to talk about it. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in one of my vlogs from our old house. So I have been using this product for about a year and I did buy this with my own money obviously it's I don't even think they even sponsor people but so this is the water bottle that I use for weightlifting for rock climbing for running errands this is my go-to water bottle um I think people call it like your emotional support water bottle I would have to say this is it so this one is from the company Tao T-A-L and I bought this for only $14 and it is amazing. It honestly is way better than like a Yeti. So on the inside, it is stainless steel. So it will keep my water cold for hours. And if I wanna put hot water like tea in it, which I really don't, but I have like used um, boiling hot water to like deep clean it. And the water is still hot after like a whole day that I've been gone. So I love that. And obviously because it is stainless steel, um, there's less chances of like germs and stuff and like plastic and BPAs or whatever. Um, but why I chose this one is because it has a handle. So when I see like, for example, a squat rack and it's free, I will grab this and run. And it's just so easy to do that with this handle. And then, most of all, it has a straw. And comment down below if you're like me, but I just feel like having a water bottle with a straw, rather than you having to like tilt your head and drink it, I just feel like having a straw, I drink way more water, or I'm motivated to drink more water because it's just so easy and convenient, and I don't have to 
untwist it, and then tilt my head back and drink it and just like strain my whole neck. Yeah, I just feel like it's just too much to do that. So that's why I love this so much and it has a little protective thing over the straw. So germs don't go on the actual straw you're sipping out of. But most of all, why I love this is because I got a plain black one so that I can personalize it with stickers. And I've seen so many people do that. And when I see other people with like stickers all over their water bottle, I just feel like it tells a story about yourself. And it's just a good conversation starter because I've had quite a few people come up to me and just start conversations with me and befriend me because of my stickers. So for example, I have my Romans 828 sticker and someone was like, oh, I love that sticker. Asked me what church I go to and just a whole conversation from there. Someone noticed my Hawaiian Island sticker and was like, you're from Hawaii? I'm like, yes. And then they were like, oh, I used to be stationed there, blah, 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 blah. So I just love stickers because, again, you can personalize it. You can start conversations and it just tell a story about yourself. So that's why I'm obsessed with mine because I just love my stickers and I was very intentional with my stickers. I guess I can show you guys what stickers I have. So like I said, I have my Hawaiian Island sticker from Hawaii and then I have my Romans 828 sticker which is like my life verse this verse is actually um, the verse that I first memorized when I was little so very important to me this one is my sticker from the company fight the new drug and it says people are not products for um, like the porn industry and human trafficking and I've actually worked with fight the new drug many times um, and I was not paid to work with them because I truly believe in their um, movement. So I have that sticker, and then I have this bouldering sticker, which is, if you guys didn't know, it's like a form of rock climbing. And this is from the boulder place in Orlando called Blue Swan Boulders. And because they are in Orlando, um, right next to UCF, they had a UCF themed bouldering sticker and if you guys didn't know I graduated from UCF with a bachelor's in legal studies and oh I guess that's it but I do plan on putting more stickers I am actually in the process of designing my own sticker little spoiler alert so now let's talk about supplements my current favorite supplements as I know already I am a sponsored athlete with Beam supplements um, but again, going back to, yes, I am sponsored and yes, I do receive free products, but I do also pay for more products because I genuinely love their products so much. Um, and Sean does as well. So they actually just released a new vegan protein flavor called cinnamon cereal. And y'all, if you want to taste your childhood, get this protein. It tastes literally like the milk of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It is so good um, because they use this trademarked process called smooth protein. So it takes that grittiness out of like most vegan proteins. So it literally tastes like the milk of Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. And um, they actually just released this like just a couple weeks ago. What's so exciting is that this is not a limited edition flavor. This will always be on their website unless they run out, obviously. And my other favorite flavor, Birthday Cake, was a limited edition flavor. And that was my favorite flavor ever. And I'm honestly so sad that it was limited. But... I'm so glad that they came out with this because this is, I'm pretty sure, tied with birthday cake for me. But with one scoop, it's only 100 calories, 20 grams of protein, has prebiotic fiber, gluten and soy free, non-GMO, and has a total of zero grams of added sugar. So I don't think I've ever talked about this on how I decided to become a sponsored athlete with Beam, but I just love this story because it's just a God moment, honestly. So um, before Beam reached out to me, I have already tasted Beam. I've already loved Beam. Um, and I was actually eyeing Beam for a while because I saw another fitness influencer being sponsored by them on TikTok. And she was a sponsored athlete. And I remember seeing her post and being like, I would love to be a sponsored athlete with Beam one day. And I'm not even kidding you guys, not even a couple weeks later, they reached out to me asking if I wanted to try their products or if I tried their products and 
um, hop on a call and potentially be a sponsored athlete with them. And I just remember, I was just so shocked because I was just wanting to work with them. And they are a smaller supplement company compared to other supplement companies that most fitness influencers are sponsored by. But that's another reason why I love them is because they are up and coming. So if you guys didn't know, BEAM stands for Be Amazing. And BEAM is also the treatment that one of the founders used um, while he had cancer. So I love the meaning behind their name, but they also give back to the community. But most of all, they literally handled the whole process from flavor creation to the actual protein tub and the protein inside. So there's no hidden ingredients at all. And that is the one thing that really caught my eye with Beam is that they handle the whole entire process. And so to be completely honest with you guys, I was reached out by huge supplement brands that most fitness influencers are sponsored by, that they are sponsored athletes. I just felt like a lot of influencers were being sponsored by them because they're so big and so common. And I'm not hating on any other fitness influencers, but I really wanted to start off with a smaller up and coming brand. Um, but most of all, the other huge brands do have some questionable ingredients and hidden ingredients that I don't agree with and most of all since day one beam has made me feel literally like i'm a part of a family um when i first hopped on the call with my point of contact with beam she was so awesome it was kind of like talking with a sister um one of the founders personally gave me his number so that i can call him or ask him any questions that i have so just working with them they just make me feel like family so that is what is so important to me when working with a brand is that they treat me with kindness and not just like a way for them to make more money if that makes sense so the last product that i want to talk about is again from beam but it is their recovery aminos so before i um decided to sign with beam i actually never used to take recovery aminos because i just felt like I didn't need it and there's just so much controversial things about recovery aminos. Some people say it doesn't work, some people say it does work, but um, after doing a lot of research on my own, and again, I recommend doing your own research as well, Beam's Recovery Aminos has not only BCAAs, but it also has EAAs as well, which is so important in terms of recovery. So EAAs are essential amino acids, and then BCAAs are branched-chained amino acids. And a lot of like huge supplement companies that have their recovery aminos only have BCAAs in it. So for Beam, not only do they have BCAAs and EAAs, I know I'm saying that a lot, but they also have electrolytes, which is so important for hydration during your workout. Um, so I used to take their strawberry peach flavored one, and that one is really good. Don't get me wrong, but I decided to switch things up and try their mango twist. And I think this is like my all time favorite one because it kind of tastes like a tropical drink and it kind of reminds me of Hawaii in some way. So yeah, I will, so I will take a scoop of this and then put it in my favorite water bottle, of course. I will have the water filled up to like about right here so that I can actually like shake it. Um, and I'll just drink this during my whole entire workout. And when I first started taking their recovery aminos, I noticed that my recovery is literally cut in half. So I'm able to get in the gym more and lift more, which means I can grow more muscle. So quick rundown of their recovery aminos. Again, they have full spectrum BCAA and EAAs. It is vegan friendly, it has electrolytes, antioxidants, and it has naturally sourced color. So I think that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do plan on filming this type of video maybe every two to three months. Obviously, I want things to be different every time I film. So make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't subscribed already so that you don't miss those videos. So Sean should be home any minute now so we can go to the gym. But again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.